All right, I left off with uh, starting with the summation of the moments. So, the really biggest thing we need to start off with when you do the summation of the moments is picking a point. Where do we want it? We could pick any point on this. We could pick this point, this point. I mean, you could pick any point to have the moments or have to do the calculations around the moments. I prefer to do it with the least amount of calculations. So if we pick the moment right here, and then erase this. If we picked to do the moments around this point, then the a x or a y and a x a x would not have any moments because a y times the distance of a y is equal to zero because it has no distance because it's right at that point. And the same thing is true for fx because it's distance that is perpendicular to this point. Remember, the line that is perpendicular, there is no distance there, so it is also zero. So then the only moments that we have to worry about are the moments of fy and by. So then this must equal the moments due to force A, the moments of A, plus the moments of B, plus the moments of F. Now A's moments are all zero. B has no moment in the X direction, so it's only B's, B's Y moment, plus F's moments in the Y direction, because fx has no moment either because its distance again is zero from the per the perpendicular distance is zero so this will give us that the moments that m the moment of by must equal the negative moment of fy so i guess i should have started off with saying that Fy is negative, so that's actually a negative force. Kind of bad for doing that. That should have done that in the beginning. That's a negative force. So that's actually negative down here as well. I'll do that a little bit later. So, so let's start off with finding the moment of Fy. So the moment of Fy is equal to the force of Fy, force of Fy, times the distance. So the distance, it's perpendicular distance, which is 8 meters. So then that is equal to a negative 43.3 newtons times 8 meters. And that gives us, what does that give us? So 43.3 times 8 meters is equal to 364.4. 43.3 times 8 is equal to 364, or 346.4 newton, kilonewton meters. Oops, kilonewtons. So we found what my is. So if we found out what fm is, then we said that b, the moment of by, must equal the negative moment of Fy, so that's negative, so then Mby is a positive 346.4 kilonewtons meters. So that's, that's our kilonewton meters, so that means that this is causing a moment, By's moment is causing it to rotate that way, which is counterclockwise, and it's positive, so when something rotates counterclockwise, it causes a moment that rotates it counterclockwise. It's a positive number, so we, we're good there. And going in, Fy is causing a negative moment around point A. So this is really messy, so I'm going to do a little bit of rearrangement. I'm going to say that moment B, Y is equal to the negative moment B, or negative moment F, Y, which is equal to... 346.4 kilonewtons, and we should be able to solve for by. So let me erase 
whole lot of this. Whole lot of this. <laughs> so then, the moment for by is equal to the distance, or the by force, times the distance. And this distance, straight up, would be 2 meters, because we're cutting it straight in half. So this now becomes a 30-60 triangle, and that means this side, the hypotenuse, is always twice as much as the um, this side. So, so we get 346.4 kilonewtons divided by the distance of 2 meters to get by. So that is equal to 170 something? 346.4 divided by 2 equals 173.2. 173 kilonewtons. So that's meters, so yeah. So 173 kilonewtons. So by that's x. By is equal to 173.2 kilonewtons. So, so if we go back down here, we now know what by and fy are, so now we can calculate what what ya is. So we'll put we'll put ay and negative ay is equal to b y f y so all right so um <laughs> um a negative a y is equal to one seven three point two kilonewtons minus forty three so we're minus forty three point three kilonewtons so let's do the math real quick on that. So 173.2 kilonewtons. Oops. Kilonewtons minus 43.3. That is equal to 129.9 kilonewtons. So AY is equal to 129. 0.9 kilonewtons. Kilonewtons. So we found out what a y was. So we found out what we found all the forces, all the moments, and we are good. So hopefully this video was somewhat helpful. Have a good day.